Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Among the three armed forces, Indian Navy is my personal favorite when it comes to planning, induction and modernization of platforms and promoting indigenous defense ecosystem. The only challenge they are facing is in conventional submarine development which I'm confident that the Navy will find the way out. Recently, Chief of Naval Staff Admiral R Harikumar told Business World in an exclusive interview that a restated letter of offer and acceptance has been sought from US government for 6 PTI aircraft. Based on the response from US side, the case would be progressed further for procurement under by global route. Besides PTI aircraft, Indian Navy is also planning to use 15 Tata Airbus C295 aircraft for maritime reconnaissance. India's primary area of strategic interest stretches from Persian Gulf to Malacca Strait. It has a vast 5422 kilometers coastline, 1197 islands and 2 million square kilometer of EEZ to guard against the threats. Indian Navy is using three-tier maritime surveillance grid with PTIs patrolling the outermost layer acting as a long-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft along with two unarmed MQ-9 RPAs leased from US. The C-29 aircraft will be used as medium-range maritime reconnaissance MRMR with a flight endurance of up to 11 hours in Indian Ocean region along with Donier 228 aircraft. As per a recent report from Times of India, the Defence Ministry is now planning the acquisition of another 15 C295 aircraft for Navy and Coast Guard. The Rajnath Singh led Defence Acquisition Council will soon take up the grant of acceptance of necessity for the 15 aircraft project which could cost around rupees 18000 crore. Both Navy and Coast Guard have been looking for new MRMR aircraft to ensure the Indian Ocean region can be more effectively patrolled. to detect both conventional and terror threats on time the plan is to modify 9 C295s for navy and 6 for coast guard and equip them with multi mode radars electro optical cameras and sonu boys for surveillance missions over the high seas dido has already proposed triple ma that is multi mission maritime aircraft based on C295 and most of the sensors electronics and avionics to be used as a part of triple ma program has already been developed by DRDO 70% of the sensors to be used in triple ma is derived from Netra A W and C the center of airborne system caps bengaluru has already prepared a blueprint to modify C295 aircrafts While C295 based triple MA is not as powerful as PTIs but decent enough for medium range role further it will cost almost one fourth the cost of Boeing PTIs which means India can literally build 24 triple MA at a cost of 6 PTIs apart from Indian Navy Indian Air Force is also looking to further extend the order of 56 C295 aircrafts The Indian Air Force currently operates a fleet of 90 AN32 that plays a critical role in supporting forward deployed troops along the country's frontier including Ladakh and Northeast. These aircrafts will begin phasing out after 2030. Around the same time, Tata Airbus will be completing the order of 56 C295 aircrafts. The additional order of C295 will be placed around the same time to keep the manufacturing facility of C295 running and fill in the gap. of an 32 transport aircrafts this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector